We live in a data-driven world, which is great when you actually have it. But in the HR world, gathering that data can drive you bananas. Hi, I'm Mateo with Altura Consulting. Welcome to Tip Top, the series where we share our insights within Workday. Some gaps in worker data are easily overcome, but when it comes to diversity data, this can be tricky, since at least in the US, it's optional for workers to self-report on gender, ethnicity, and other key data points. Let's look at a few different ways to collect the data your company needs to report on diversity metrics. Before we start, keep in mind you can download our complete diversity data enrichment checklist by following the link in the video description. If there are specific data fields you're after, Perform an audit using custom reports to zero in on the segment of your workforce that are missing data attributes. From there, you can schedule notifications through the audit reports to encourage those specific employees to populate this data. For data points that are more sensitive in nature, a campaign may require a more measured approach and messaging. For example, while pronoun usage and gender identity functionality has been available for a few releases now, Many clients have yet to enable these features. If you want to collect this information, it's important to communicate to your workers that this data is not publicly visible unless they choose to opt into it. To learn more, check out our video on enabling gender pronouns. That link is in the video description too. For data that doesn't require full-on information campaigns, you can simply utilize the task Distribute Documents or Tasks. This will send the task to the worker's inbox. You can find yet another link to our video on distributing tasks in this video's description. Alternatively, you can mass load new data collected outside of Workday using an EIB. If you have any questions about your tenant, don't hesitate to reach out. We'd love to assist in elevating your Workday.